Ready for the next one. Oui. Oui, oui. So, oh. <laughs> uh -huh. I see. I see what I did there. You are so smart. So, <laughs> this one is about the Paris catacombs. Yes. And you went, this is why we wee, because you went there. I did I go know. there. I did go there. Mm -hmm. um, there in Paris, in Paris. Mm -hmm. um, very long queue to get in okay. to them. Mm -hmm. So make sure you go earlier on in the day. Mm -hmm. um, and once you get downstairs, it's, yeah, it's a different... It's a different world. Mm -hmm. I would say it's a, there needs to be a bit of a trigger warning for people. Um, there are real bones down there. There are real, right. real, you know, they were all people at one point in time that were alive. Mm -hmm. um, and seeing the mass scale of skeletons is quite confronting sometimes. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, and, and to know that all of those people, yeah, were people just like me and you mm. kicking it round at some point. Mm. Yeah, it's really just even just watching the video, which is another one where, let's see, where did I get to with that one? So this one is from, oh, it's from the account called Rodin Horror. Um, and the video is titled Paris Catacombs, Lost Man Found Footage. Mm -hmm. And I will link the video in the description as well. Okay. But really amazing that you described what the Paris Catacombs are for those who haven't been or don't know of them. Because I didn't know a lot about it, if mm -hmm. at all, I think, actually. Well, actually, no, I think I did hear of them. I just didn't really realize what it was. Yes. Yeah, so... Okay, so in this video, which is the video from the account Rodin Horror, yeah. this person, so there is a person, so from what I understand, and please correct me if I'm wrong, found a camera in the catacombs, right. and they watched the footage of this camera. I don't remember when, this was would have been years ago, so I don't know if this is something like 1970s type of thing, or that's where... I don't remember mm -hmm. but in this video you can see the pov of the person who owned the camera yep. just looking around the catacombs as you do looking at things yep. um and they keep going deeper and deeper into it all of a sudden this person drops the camera and then you can see there's some water coming in and then you can see the person run right and okay. so basically something had freak him out, something had happened, camera drops, person runs. Right. And never to be seen again. So they don't, no one knows if this person ran out of the catacombs and is, doesn't want to have a bar of anything anymore mm -hmm. to do with this and has never fessed up or said anything mm -hmm. or they're still in there to this day. Broken away. <laughs> Because no one knows what happened to this person. Right. You know, Sorry, they yeah. just disappeared. And the last footage of them is them running. Yeah, and I suppose something to take note is with the um, catacombs, 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 mm -hmm. um, is that there is, it's spread over quite a large area and yeah. it's it's like a maze mm -hmm. underground so mm -hmm. it's not just sort of like one way in one way out type thing mm -hmm. you know one straight line um it is a maze that you go through so if you did not know the area well or probably went into the areas that you know when you go down there essentially mm -hmm. there's a path that you can follow mm -hmm. And they have areas that are kind of cordoned off, so you can't go down there. Mm -hmm. However, if you were to probably get into those areas that aren't in the map, mm -hmm. you could quite easily get lost. Right. And yes, because adding to that, in this video, on this account, the person investigating went to... So they are a group of people whose 
um, I want to say job, but I don't know if it is a job like it's a paid job or is it like they do it as a side gig that they study the catacombs, so they map it out, so they're proficient. So there's a group of people that are proficient in the catacombs area. Mm. So he reached out to them to try and figure out what happened to this guy or if mm -hmm. they could find him and things like that. For example, if you study something like... Sorry, nothing comes to mind other than bachata for some reason. But like, you know, you get someone who practices and does it all day, all night, seven days a week type of thing. Yeah. Even though it's not like a job job, it's like a side gig that they do. Yep. Type of thing. But these guys do it for the Paris catacombs. Cool? So, <clears throat> do you want to watch this video? Yes. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. The video shows the man exploring, but he soon begins to panic. He runs through the maze of tunnels and his breathing gets heavy. As he is running, you can hear and tell the man is freaking out. He then drops the camera in the water and is seen running away out of frame. The camera keeps recording until the camera runs out of batteries. A team of urban explorers set out deep into the catacombs to... Okay. What do you okay, so that? has he taken a water bottle with him? Like, where has this water come from? What do you mean? The water on the floor? Yeah. I thought it was from the cave. I mean, no, not the cave. Why do I keep calling them caves? Oh, uh, there, I think there Is are there wells. Yeah. There are wells, but I can't, I'd have to look back on my mm -hmm. pictures. I can't mm -hmm. remember. Do you mean the water at the bottom, like where he drops the camera? Yeah, because he drops the camera and then the this, water... Yeah, so it's not a water bottle because you can see that it's... Um, we're going to do this again, hang on. Oh, so it looks like maybe he's run into a puddle. Possibly, actually, yeah. That's... You're smarter than I am. <laughs> I thought it was like a wave of water. No, because I'm looking at how the camera has has fallen yeah. down yes and then i'm looking at the bridge lines mm. and so i'm like if there is water mm -hmm. and it's a puddle mm -hmm. the footage just before it it doesn't there's yeah. no reflection of water on the ground mm -hmm. which is why i was like where is the water coming from mm -hmm. but yeah possibly mm -hmm. a puddle so at the end of this, because this mm -hmm. clip is, you know, five or six minutes long. Yeah. It, are they saying that the researchers tried to work out where this person was? I think so. I think that was the part of it. So they're trying to figure out, look how big that is. So that's more clear than the first footage. Sorry, I don't know why I didn't show it you this one. But yeah, so the, what they're trying to figure out is what happened to this guy. And then why was he running? Or because in the video they also mentioned how his breathing is now uneven. He's mm. running. So something spooked him. Something has spooked him. Mm. He's dropped the camera. This guy's like, stop it. Like, I'm getting the fudge out of here. Yeah. It drops the thing, runs wherever he's running. So they're trying to figure out if he ran out of the catacombs. And has not looked back because wouldn't you if you had that situation and then you realize my camera's not on me, it's probably still in there. If anyone goes in there, because they they started doing the tourist attractions years, years, years back. Yeah. So they would have already yeah. been doing it. Yeah. So clearly people will be going in there. Hey, if you see my camera, can you go grab it if you feel brave enough to, yeah. right? And yeah. Or he is still in there. So does it say when they found the camera? Yeah. So like the footage is from the 1970s. I see. That was a guess. What do you think happened? Do you think he... Like what do you think spooked him? Do you think he's still in there? Do you think he got out? Like what... That was pretty creepy though if you think about it. It is. I mean, depending on when it was filmed, yeah, mm -hmm. you would hope that somebody would have found him by now, or at least found mm -hmm. a body. Mm -hmm. However, if it's 
if it's somewhere where they haven't tracked before, like if he's ended up running somewhere mm -hmm. they haven't tracked before. But then I'd sit there and be like, like if I was in there, mm -hmm. as soon as I felt marginally safe, Mm -hmm. Like once my, my heart rate had come down, mm -hmm. I'd start screaming at the top of my lungs to try and grab the attention mm. of... Because you're not alone. Although if you see in that footage where the explorers went to go help this guy figure out what happened, they're going in... So I didn't realise, like I thought catacombs were, here's the space, so you walk into it. So, so when you when you go in as a tourist, right, that it's quite high and cavey like, and yeah, like you're not crouching down, you're not trying to slip through little holes right. or anything Whereas like that. In this video, they were. So what? Yeah. Were, like I don't. I think that's the part where I'm confused because what were they trying to do? Go. Were they following what they thought was his footpath? Like, did they think he went yes. into so tunnels? I they identified in the footage like right. the last area that they thought mm -hmm. he would be in mm -hmm. and then have been looking from there okay. if it was me i would make such a racket that yeah. either people would think that that there was a spirit in there <laughs> yeah and probably run away yeah um but yeah i don't know mm. And then I kind of think, you know, surely somebody would have come forward and been like, oh no, that's my footage. By now. By now. By now they would have said something going, oh, actually that's me and that's my footage, I'm fine. But we definitely, because there's, it said there's no names in this one to look up the name of the person. No. Or find if their family and friends reported him as missing to the police. Yeah. Right. And then I sit there and I go, and again, mm. I mean, humans are, are unpredictable, but oh. I also go, like, why would you drop the one thing that has your light source and then run into the dark? Do you think the camera had the light on it? I think he had another source of light. I don't know yeah. why I think that. No, I think there could be two sources of light. You're mm. you're correct. Because if he had dropped the camera and just the way you, because they're when running. He, but when he runs, mm -hmm. the tunnel isn't illuminated. In oh. front of him, when he when he's running down mm. the tunnel to begin with, right. it's illuminated in front of him. Right. And then he drops the camera, and you see. Him run, but you don't see the tunnel. You don't see the tunnel, lit or you don't mm. see like a, a mm. dot moving or what. Because I wonder, it's probably need a filmmaker's opinion on this part. Because when they make horror movies and stuff, obviously they illuminate you more because they need us to see what's happening. Yeah. But I do wonder, so I think the other part, because like, you know, I'm spooked too easily. I'm like, it's a demon, it's a demon. Look, okay, I, I get it. Like, that's, I'm not going to, I will rationalize and, and try to make logic out of it if I'm by myself. If I'm with some, someone else, I'm like, you can do it. I'll just be scared. It's fine. So my mind's going, like, that's probably not him. That's probably a spirit. Oh, well, that could be. Or, it could be not him altogether running away. Yeah. Maybe he's been hit and he's lying on the ground. Yeah. And what you're seeing running through the puddle is maybe his soul or something else or a different spirit or maybe a thing because how can you because like you said logically it looks like he's running into the darkness and if you yeah. had a light source logically you would see a little bit of what he's running into. into yeah and that makes sense but i do wonder from a filmmaker's perspective it's actually like no that darkness that you see on camera is legit compared to the light source he was holding at that time. time. So he right. would have had the camera and that lighting would have been bright lights. He would have had like maybe a little torch or like a headlight. Yeah. That's not as bright. So on camera, on his one that did not pick up well, that yeah, much lighting. That, but that, I don't know. I don't know much about lighting. And that filming. looks like night, and, night filming. Yeah. yeah. And it's to, exactly. Yeah. And, you know, there is a possibility it's fake. 
But there's a possibility it's not. Yeah, true. I mean, all the theories and possibilities. Both, both sides. Yeah. 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 So that was a creepy one, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. I do recommend to go go down there. It is mm-hmm. it is quite confronting at mm-hmm. times um, right. and beautiful mm-hmm. in a weird way. But yeah, just seeing all of the skulls, they've made designs with them as well. Oh. So it's quite artistic in places. Wow. Um, okay. So they've created mm-hmm. patterns with bones and skulls and mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. yeah. It's quite beautiful. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. So what's our next story? Are you ready for the next one? You picked yes. one. It's so funny. I said the family name and you just picked it up. So we'll just go with that because I was thinking I'll describe the whole story and then you t- and then I was going to be like, surprise, it was actually this. Which it is well, basically. We can, we can still do that for the oh. viewers who may not know. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's do okay, that. Okay. Let's go. Okay. We'll let's do that. Go. We'll do that. Okay. So, this story is based on a family that. Okay. Let's. Another thing with spooky stuff. So, it's underground things because I keep saying yes. caves, but there's mines, there's a whole catacombs. If it's under the earth, I ain't going. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Anything underground is a big no-no. No. Hell. No. 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 And haunted houses. A good range. Oh my gosh. Some, I, I know in, oh, there are some haunted places here as well. But also, I mean, I think the most prominent because of movies, the States has a lot and to the point where you can stay in some of the houses. I would love that. Yes. I would do that. We should totally we should go do on to do something like that. We could. Have you been to Spookers, by the way? Or oh, side note, side note, Spookers in Auckland. Have no. you been there? Do you know about Spookers? Yes. Yeah. Every time I've been there, I haven't been able to get there. Oh, because it's like South Auckland, you do need a car to get there. Yeah. And it is an abandoned as- asylum. Sounds like a perfect place for me. Yeah, so they turned that into a haunted attraction. So it's like a haunted house. There's like the cornfields and then people dress up and they go, rah, and scare you, kind of. Side note, Yeah. many, many moons ago on mm-hmm. Halloween, mm-hmm. I went to, is it the amazing, amazing <gasps> maze? Why is that? Okay. Have to fact check. I okay. want to say it's like oh. Shannon or something. Okay, what is it called? I think it's called The Amazing Maze. Good. And what it is, is it's a maze mm-hmm. made from uh, corn, okay. essentially, which is why it's called The Amazing Maze Maze. Mm-hmm. It is the first time I have had to leave mm-hmm. a scary, like, thing. So I was in the maze by myself, because I'm a weirdo. <laughs> And I got cut off from my friends. Okay. I ended up cornered with three guys walking towards me with chainsaws. I freaked out so much that Mm. I just had to call it. So, in a lot of these scary things Mm -hmm. here, Mm -hmm. um, once you say like a particular word or whatever, everybody stops doing what they're doing. Okay. And they... What's the word? Help? I can't okay. I can't remember what it was, but they give you the word, but once they you okay. once you kind of give up, yeah, you can't come back in. Oh. So it's kind of like one of those things where you've reached your limit yeah. and you turn around and say like no more and they'll pull you yes. out of the maze. Yeah. And so it went from this adrenaline pumping, these guys standing there with chainsaws just getting closer and closer. Mm-hmm. And the thing to note is the chainsaws didn't have the chains on them. No. But at night time... You can't see it. You couldn't see that. So they were all, like, masked up with these chainsaws just coming at me. Mm-hmm. Um, oh. And it actually ended up being so funny because I, I quit. Yeah. I can't remember what the word was. And then, like, they all took off their masks. They turned off their chainsaws. And they were like, hi, are you okay? Yeah. Like, this is the way out of the maze. Like, thank yeah. you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> such a mind like what's the word for it just like it really 
messes with your brain a little bit I, because it's so yes I, it's intense it, it was the intense. sound it was being cornered yeah. it mm. was dark it was halloween mm -hmm. there was a lot of scary yeah. stuff going on yes yeah. because i remember when i did go and in your mind you're like oh this is all fake and for the most part you hear people laughing yeah and but when you get separated from the group it's that's when it starts to feel a little too real yeah yeah, and yeah. that's it when you're separated from the group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I am one of those people that if I get really scared, I laugh. <laughs> I scream and then I laugh. Okay, okay. So, yeah, that's why they need the safety word because I was going to also say, was it in Sanson? Sanson? Yes. Yeah, so I found it, but it's closed down. Oh. Which is really sad. So, that's probably the one that oh, that I went to. Maze. Yeah. yeah, the amazing maze and maze mm. in Sanson. Back yep. in the day. Okay. All right. Shall we get back to our story? Yes. Okay. Well, let me find. So this story was based on the Perrin family. Am I saying it right? The Perrins? I believe so. The Perrins. Okay. So the Perrins consists of Roger and Caroline Perrell. Perrell? So Carol Perrin. So they moved into a house mm -hmm. that was in farmland. Mm -hmm. They had five daughters, Andrea, Nancy, Christine, Cindy, and April. They also had a family dog so they mm -hmm. moved to this house in the farmlands and then things start happening right starting with the dog not um, the dog yeah i know it's always so sad but initially so the daughters experienced an entity in the house so spooky things were happening okay but they never really were freaked out or scared by it because they initially said that they were Good thing. So, like, the broom will go missing. They would hear sounds of cleaning. So, I guess, because it's cleaning, you know. I can say right now, mm -hmm. if any entity wants to come to my house <laughs> and clean. Don't say that. Don't say that. No. Uh, no. no. <laughs> Wait, so what Don't say that. Don't come. You Don't can't say that. Come. I need to floss. This is not what we want. It's only water from you, I suppose. <laughs> It's tea. Water. It's tea. Don't throw tea at me. <laughs> it's peach water. I need to. I need to get. Don't say that. No. You're inviting them in. Everyone knows. <laughs> Not inviting them in. They've got to knock on the door first. They're not vampires. These are, okay. Oh my soul. Okay, I need to calm down. <laughs> okay, we'll get back to the story, but then we have to bless this house. Or like, do something. You don't have to. Okay. Do it. We have to do something to get rid of the entity. But if you want to come clean it. Not then inviting to you her. Back. Not, not to me. Her. Not inviting I'm you. not. I am not. <laughs> Look, I'm not inviting you for anything else except for cleaning my house. <laughs> okay. okay. Good. Be specific. Specific? Specific? I cannot pronounce it. I need, I need to. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Back to the story. So anyways. Yes. They also mentioned a spirit of a young boy. So initially it's a friendly spirit because they're all kids. They're all very young at this point and the spirit mm -hmm. of a young boy is there. Um, you know, there's a spirit where the mum even would notice. I think that was one of them where things would go moving or just along the lines of, you know, you put one thing one way yep. or in a different place and, and it's somewhere else. Um, like those kind of little spooky things that you're like, oh yeah, I guess I could deal with this. Yes. Um, and so what happens is after some time, these hauntings or situations will start to escalate as right. they do. I was going to side note, but let's not do that. So as they do, because yes. it's usually how they start. But what they're trying to eventually in the story is say that it was different entities in this house. And so not only was there one entity. Oh my God. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, everything is scary. <laughs> Sorry. So for, for those watching, there was just a notification on the phone. No sound, no nothing. Just a notification going up on the phone that we're filming. <laughs> I, I was just like, oh, okay. Just... You do get spooked quite easily, don't you? Oh, we're not going to survive a movie together. I don't. You're going to have to wear diapers to the movie. <laughs> Because of the notifications, spooks you. Ooh. I can't. Why am I doing this? I don't know. I was actually Oh, 
Jim invited me and I'm just going to send a notification first saying that. Uh, FYI, I'm at your door. <laughs> she said, I, was, I thought it was a freaking ghost. <laughs> That's all I saw. It was a, okay. It was a red notification. And so the, all I saw was a red pop up on the side of the phone. I was like, oh my God, it's the entity coming. <laughs> I was just like, oh, what's this? <laughs> it's super cute then, you guys. <laughs> Are you going to be able to sleep tonight? <laughs> okay, I was going to say, Darren's not home. <clears throat> He's like, got a game session with friends. I was going to stay home, but also there's the bachata thing on tonight, which I wasn't going to go because I need to recover. But I was like, after this, I'm going because I can't sit in that house after this session. No, we should watch scary movies tonight instead. We should not. <laughs> we I just should. I just got scared from a notification. <laughs> oh my God. This is going to be great. We okay. are going to have to, I don't know how we'd do it, but <gasps> we'd have to film okay. me and you watching a scary <laughs> movie together. Because I am going to petrify you. Yeah. Because yeah. I jump a lot, I okay. grab a lot, I swear a lot. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think I think yes. And we need to do a reactions video. Yeah. And then we'll pick the movie. But we might need two cameras for that. Maybe. I don't know. Yes. We'll see. That's fine. Okay. Getting okay. back to the story now that we've <laughs> had a moment. This is such a Okay, Ooh. so there were, we were talk I was talking about the spirits that were in the house. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so there was quite a few of them. There was like the friendlier ones, or like the ones that were not as harmful. But then, but then there was the main one, and this is what I was freaking out. Well, I had a moment because she was in my mind. I was like, oh. um, and her name was or is Bathsheba. So she was this lady that lived in the house years and years ago. So yes. what they were trying to get at was that she didn't want people living in this house anymore because she wasn't there. So now she's haunting it. Right. But also previous prior to that, when she was alive, I don't know if this part is true or not because I didn't really, I read one source, but not a lot of them didn't confirm it. Yeah. There was a boy, a young boy in her care, which is how it came to be that boy spirit in the house. Right. But that boy died right. in her care. So they, the town or the people, the community thought she killed the boy. Right. And then there was a lot of rumors about her being a witch. Yeah. But her coming from a long line of witch, or her sister was a witch. Right. And was, you know, back then they don't really deal with this witchy business and they... Right. You know, get rid of them. Which is with the end. Yeah. 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 So with her story also, I, there was, I think, like a partner or husband. You know, the partners. Right. And she did have a kid. But it got to the point where she, I can't remember, what was the story? Where, um, what was it? What was it? What was it? Okay. Sorry, I'm not doing very well with this explanation after having a heart attack. Okay. Um, so she cursed the house. I'm trying to figure out how she ended up um so something oh yes that was a story sorry guys so what happened was that she had the baby when she married this guy yeah and she sacrificed the baby at the fireplace to satan because that was the other part where it's not just a witch she was a witch and a satanist right so she was sacrificed the baby um and then the farmer find found out so he walked in when she was in the middle of the ritual sacrificing this baby and then she ran out because she was exposed. She flew, flew. She ran fleeing to the tree. And this is where if you're sensitive to these kind of things, trigger warning here, mm -hmm. that she ran to the tree and she offed herself. Right. Cool. Cool is probably <laughs> not the word I would have used, but yep. Yep. Okay, yeah. No, yep. I'm not saying cool. No, I'm mean, yep. like, sorry, wrong word. <laughs> I'm not going to be saying the right things anymore after that <laughs> shock factor. Anyway, so that's the story of Bathsheba. Right. Who is now haunting this house where the parents' family have moved into. Right. And the parents' family, so things like they would go to sleep at night and things will be pulling at their legs. Ooh. Scary? I Yeah. Scary, right? But not as bad. But wait. 
So other things started happening where it would be quite harmful. Mm. So other things would be like she would physically be harming them. So mm. not just pulling at their legs, it escalated to so things like removing furniture. Um, and she would change the clocks to like three or seven. Apparently, that's the devil's hour, which I didn't realize. Oh yeah, actually it is. Yep. Yes. Oh, we'll get to that because. <laughs> I have some creepy stories. Okay, anyway, okay. The devil's hours at 3 or 7, guys. Um, and she would knock on the wall. That was the other part. So knocking three times on the wall. Mm -hmm. And apparently that was to mock the Holy Trinity because it's okay. the three. Yeah. Yep. She would also, at night, she would distract Caroline, which is the mum. And so that the other spirits, because the Sheba will unite, I don't mm -hmm. know the word to use, with yep. other spirits to harm the kid. So she would go try to possess the mom right. and try to distract the mom. So that once the mom is away from the kids, she'll get the other spirits to go harm the kids. Right. Okay. All right, cool. And so now they're living in this house. They can't leave this house because they don't have the ability to or the means to. Right. They went and hired investigators. Mm -hmm. so paranormal this, investigators. Yes. So these yep. paranormal investigators, Ed and Lorraine Warren. Mm. Okay. They ended up coming to the house. And so Lorraine notices Bathsheba's presence in the house after she sees like a like she sees the vision of Bathsheba when she ran out to the tree situation. Right. And that's how because I think by the sounds of it, Lorraine is quite um like a medium i guess yes you know how they yeah it's the kind of sense that i'm getting okay so they were there to investigate the house um but then also Bathsheba is now like there's another woman here so Bathsheba's thing is trying to get rid of the woman right. because this is my house and her my territory type of yep. thing so she was trying to possess lorraine as well and it got to a point where ed Yes. I think they'll be down in the basement and then they were trying to like, well, they said an exorcism, but the couple, Ed and Lorraine, said it wasn't an exorcism. Right. Because you can't legally, not legally, you can't perform an exorcism, exorcism without requesting it from the Catholic Church or the church. Yes. It doesn't have to be Catholic, just a church. A church. Yeah, from what I understand. Cool? I don't know why I keep saying cool. <laughs> I just think I'm saying it to myself. <laughs> you're, cool? just, you're just trying you to okay? calm yourself down. You're Are like, you okay? I'm okay. I'm cool. I'm cool. This is cool. <laughs> We're all cool. If you ever want to know what projection looks like, I think that was it. Right. Gotcha. That was it right there. Cool? I got cool. you. Cool. <laughs> Are we cool? Are we okay? Yeah, we're okay. We're, we're, okay. <laughs> we're fine. <laughs> Oh, okay, so at this point, the parent family takes refuge in the hotel. Yes. While the Warrens takes the evidence because they've tried to get the evidence to go to the Catholic Church to authorize the exorcism. Because apparently, I'm thinking you can't just go and ask for an exorcism. Exorcism, because it's not, I've heard of this before actually. You can't just show up to a church and be like, we need an exorcism. Like, you need You're a like, case. sweet, yeah, I'll just go. <laughs> Roger, when you, when Roger's you, out in the back. <laughs> He's free. Roger, mate. Can you go perform an exorcism? Yeah, mate, yeah, no, two o'clock. Yeah, sweet. We got you sorted. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. <clears throat> All right, cool. So at this point, what the story is, is that Bathsheba sneaks back into the house. Sneaky. Yeah, sneaky. And she convinces. So this is where it crosses over with the entity possessing objects. So she she convinced another entity to possess an object to like a demonic kind of entity and at this point how she's possessing caroline caroline is trying to get christine and april which are the two daughters of the main couple mm -hmm. back into the house so she's trying to lure them back in right and she wants to obviously lure them back in because with sheba who's now possessed caroline wants to Get rid of them. Right. Okay, so April hides under the floorboards while the possessed Caroline tries to stab Christine with scissors. 
painful. Yeah. Especially if they're blunt. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no, just like mm. Yeah, yeah. not blunt. So was, no. Um, yeah, but it was stopped because Warren, Roger, and then there was some assistance and the police officer. So I'm guessing now that they're at this point where they're doing the exorcism. That's why there's a police officer there. There always is a police officer at some point. I don't know how, but... Well, Okay, I, I yep. do. Okay, anyway, so they try to get Caroline's like spirit, not Caroline's spirit, like but she was spirit out of Car Caroline. Yes. At this point, Lorraine mm -hmm. is kind of thinking that if they took Caroline out of the house, that's basically what Bathsheba wants. So yes. Bathsheba wants her to go to that tree because that's how she she and like, complete the cycle. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Cool. So. Lorraine's kind of telling them, hey, we can't do this. So they go down to the basement and they try to do the exorcism, exorcisms there. Okay, so we get to the point where they're doing the thing and then it gets to where Ed uses the term Bathsheba, by the power of God, I condemn you back to hell. And that is what gets this entity to be like, no, <laughs> and flee goes on her merry way yeah i i really i mean apparently that was it like that was how he got rid of that spirit which is basically as if you see have you seen the exorcism yeah the movie yeah they do something quite similar like they bring in priests and they bring in all this kind of thing and they some try, water oh heaps of that holy water and yeah they try to condemn these spirits or things back to hell so that's the story but this is the story that got turned into a franchise and added it, so much information it did indeed and this movie is called the conjuring yeah one two a lot three four i think that how many conjurings is there six i say six five, five six I went and saw the last Conjuring at mm -hmm. the movies, but <clears throat> fell asleep halfway. You fell asleep? <laughs> Are you okay? I I fell asleep. No. Um, no. Oh, because Annabelle. That's what I was going to say. Because the the other the demon that she tried to join forces with. Mm. That's what became Annabelle, and I didn't realize Annabelle is part of the Conjuring Conjuring franchise. Mm. Yes, that makes sense. And so, so yeah. is the Nun, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Eight. Eight. Eight movies. movies. <laughs> okay, I'm closing that tab now. I don't want to ever see that again. But I was going to say, say this is what I think we should watch together. Is that now there's also i don't know if it's on netflix but it's a tv show yes. called Bathsheba search for evil mm. and that's it tells a true story of the parent family the conjuring inspiration so it goes back and it's a story of Bathsheba, which is how she the lady yeah and then became that spirit yeah and then became the thing that was possessing the families and yeah crazy right and also so now, apparently, that house got bought out um, by... So, so, like, the actual house or the house that they have in the movie? Oh, the actual house. The actual house. The actual house. So this is based on a true story. I don't know how people feel about spirits and stuff. Yep. I mean, we... <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm open. Yeah. I, I go between believing and also being very logical about things. Yeah. I don't think... Mm -hmm. There's no reason there there wouldn't be spirits, and there's no reason why there wouldn't would be. Yeah. It's kind of but for me. I'm like, whatever happens, happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. So there's some. So it's bought out, and then it got changed over to a different owner. But now it's a tourist attraction. So like the catacombs. Yeah. You could go in and have a look at the place, and it's a tourist attraction essentially. And there's people that you know, look after the grounds and our caretakers and they do like investigations of like paranormal stuff. Wow. Yeah, it's actually a job. Like it's amazing. I think it's great. Um, yeah, so it's still standing until now. So if you wanted to want to watch all those movies and go visit the place, that would be 
I'd 100% go. <laughs> okay, sometimes I think I'll go and then I just, I feel like my legs are shaking. You know when you're scared and you're like, my, I'm sitting We down. are so going oh. somewhere together. Oh my goodness. And we are so going to go somewhere spooky mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because this will be entertainment at its finest. Oh my soul. <laughs> It would, it would be, but that's, yeah, so those are, that's, I mean, haunted houses, man, are just the creepiest, because have you seen Poltergeist? That's another movie. Oh, Poltergeist, when I saw that as a kid, mm. I didn't sleep for days, especially when, like, they come out the TV and stuff. <gasps> yeah, oh, yes, okay, like... so yes, I was thinking, yes, the scene I'm thinking was the graves that were coming out, like, from the floorboard. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not messing or, with that stuff. Yeah. I think it was around about that time. Yeah. That I got told about the mirror people. The mirror people? Oh, what's that? <laughs> the mirror. I was like, well, I don't want to know, but I want to know. This is still something I'm slightly cautious about. To okay, this if you're day. scared. Oh. No, it's a mirror right there. Okay. It's only because I was told it when I was a child. Was that like at night time, people come out of the mirrors. Yes. And the mirrors mm -hmm. sort of like go into another place. But if you have the bed directly mm -hmm. in front of the mirror, mm -hmm. then you should cover it with a blanket or a sheet or, or yes. something. So it's because like a portal. The, yeah, because the mirror people will come and steal your soul. That's a very, is this an Eastern thing? Because I heard someone else say this to me and they said it's in their community. They're from the East and they're... I don't, I don't know. Yes. I just remember being told as a child and now to this day, oh I mean, God. obviously you have houses where the mirrors are inbuilt into the wardrobe. Like you have a whole, mm -hmm. you know, so your bed's always right next to a mirror. Oh, so is your house like that? <laughs> me in the middle of the night oh okay but can i close the door that's fine right yeah yeah okay they're not it's not in the room i sleep in so that's good no 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 okay. it's not in the room oh. you, but like i used to sleep in a room that had mirrors Ooh. i will <laughs> never put my mirror mm -hmm. at night time while i sleep mm -hmm. directly at the bottom of my bed because i'm like the mirror people will come out and steal myself at the so, bottom of your bed, like yeah, underneath your bed? No, like, you know, say yeah. you have your your bed facing this way. Right. And like I have a stand-up mirror. Yeah. Like I don't put the stand-up mirror Okay. Like against the wall yeah. facing my bed. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't sit in bed staring directly into a mirror. Oh, I couldn't. It's just that idea is quite creepy minus the mirror people. It's just creepy. Oh, I'm sticking to all the moments I've had mirrors. <laughs> or, or that, or you know, sometimes yeah. when I've had it, like, I think the mirror people are coming to get me in the bathroom in the middle oh, of the night, and what? it's just my own reflection <laughs> as I walk past the mirror, and I'm oh like, my no. Um, but I do wonder where that story started from. I don't know. Because what what are you trying to achieve? Like telling a child that mirror people are coming to get you, or even an adult. Yeah, but it was like, always just a thing to the point where <laughs> I used to, many, many years ago, I don't now, but I used to have like, I had this big armoire, so this big freestanding wardrobe that mm -hmm. had a mirror. Okay. And on top of it, I would have like a, a sarong or a piece of material. Mm -hmm. And at night, I would flip it over so that yeah. the mirror was yeah. covered. Yeah. But I also got told very, very young that mm. lightning could hit mirrors. Oh, And so it was one of those things where, like, if there was a lightning storm, mm. you were supposed to cover your mirrors as well. Okay. And now, as an adult, I'm mm. not sure that makes sense. Totally makes sense if mirrors are outside. Mm. Does it totally make sense? I don't know. Yeah, mm. yeah. But like no. covering your mirrors inside yeah. is a bit of a stretch. But yeah. 
The digit. mirror people. The mirror people, okay. Okay. And that's something that still, yeah, it still mm. sticks with me that I will not have a mirror directly yeah. at the end of my bed. Like, yeah. my my bed faces this way, and then my mirror's over here. Right, yeah. So my mirror faces the other wall, mm. but never directly. But it's still towards you, because I've had mirrors as well, like stand up, like, you know, the tall one. Yeah, yeah. But, so if my bed, for example, is, this is the bed, the mirror will be on the side. Yeah. Like, it's not facing me, it's facing that way, so whatever comes out is going that way. That way, <laughs> yeah. And I can just stay here and be like, I'm a bed. Yeah. I'm just going to pretend to be furniture. Yeah. That's what I would do. I'd just be like, I'm part of the furniture. I'm a statue. I'm not a human. But that's super interesting that yeah. you've, you've heard of that, considering yes. we've grown up completely different cultures, completely oh. different areas. Yes. And, yeah. Those mirror people. Oh, no. It's that's what makes it creepy because how do they know? Like, what did your family call mine? Like, no, they no one did. say like, hey, can you tell your daughter about mirror people? people. Like, let's just scare them. Like, elaborate prank that went on for too long. Yeah, it's definitely not. Have you had any paranormal stuff? When I was a child, I did. Mm -hmm. Not so much more as an adult and mm -hmm. maybe that's because when you're a child you tend to be a little bit more in tune to these things oh yeah um so mm -hmm. i've been told mm -hmm. but i did live in this house where somebody had died in the kitchen <laughs> why would they tell you this because how old would you be at this point oh i'm i was at School, so I must have been like seven or eight, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. seven or eight, and they died in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, and I, I went as far as like writing about it in my school book, oh. and my teachers were kind of like, "What?" is going on mm. and what would happen would be like the tv would flip on and off so that would be something no. and that would be mm. quite annoying mm -hmm. oh. you would hear doors slamming and you would have the windows kind of uh -huh. you would feel a breeze when all of the windows were closed mm. And at night, you would hear footsteps going up and down the hallway. Mm. And I, because I was so original, I named the ghost Mr. Ghosty. Yeah, Mr. Ghosty. Uh, because, oh, like, this. yeah, he had never hurt mm. me. Yeah. And it was quite funny because I would spend time talking to him mm -hmm. because I'd be watching TV and the TV would flick on and off. Mm. And I'd be like, I'm trying to watch something. Can you not do that? Mm. And then the TV would be fine. Um, wow. Okay. So I used to have, like, there used to be these, what I deem interactions. Mm -hmm. But if I spoke politely and was just like, look, you know, mm -hmm. then it would all calm down a lot. Mm. The only thing I never kind of liked, and it still creeps me out this day. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it was ever done with malice or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Is I would be lying in bed and you would feel the pressure of a hand and you would feel the blankets change. So it would feel, you would get oh, that, yeah. that pressure, like not a grabbing or anything, mm. but that pressure, kind of like, I suppose if you have a cat... And when oh. the cat jumps on the bed and yeah. jumps on you and you feel that pressure change, right. it's not hard enough for you to be like, ow, this hurts or anything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I would literally be lying in bed and I would feel the pressure change and I would feel like the touching of my legs. Mm -hmm. And it was never a malice. It was never anything dodgy. Mm -hmm. But you could, I can still remember to this day. Mm -hmm feeling that pressure change and even now as an adult once in a blue moon i'll be lying in bed and maybe it's just mm -hmm. i don't know the blanket settling or the i don't know mm -hmm. i'll wake up in the middle of the night and you will feel that that pressure 
but yeah, that's... Is Mr. Ghosty still around? Oh my gosh. Yeah, and mm. what I didn't know was originally when I was trying to explain to people that this was happening, like, mm -hmm. I didn't know somebody had died in the kitchen. Oh, okay. So I had no idea about that until right. a little later on. And Wasn't that because you told the story? Yeah, because I was... And someone knew. And, and so when the house was rented out to us back in the day, mm -hmm. like that wasn't disclosed. Okay. Whereas now you kind of disclose almost everything. Mm. Um, oh yeah, true. Because back then they wouldn't had to have disclosed it, right? No. But now it's a thing? Was it, so is well, that a law here? I, I don't know if it's a law here. Uh-huh. But yeah, I think either they have to disclose it or B, if you ask a generalized question like, is, has anything happened in the house that I should know about, oh, okay. then, then they have to disclose it. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure on that. Okay. Um, That's all right. And but then, yeah. So Mr. Ghosty, do you know anything about Mr. Ghosty? Like what was their previous life? Like, so how did you know? It? Okay. I guess what I'm trying to get at is, so you were experiencing this paranormal thing happening. Yeah. You talk about the story. Yep. And then someone tells you, oh, this person died in the kitchen. Well, no, I th what had happened was, mm. like, I remember always getting told because I would freak out or I would say mm, something. Mm -hmm. And I remember always getting told, oh, it's, it's just the wind. Oh, oh it's okay. It's just this or it's just that. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, oh, you're just hearing me walk up and down the hallway or whatever. And I'm like, well, mate, to... it's two o'clock in the morning. I highly <laughs> doubt you're walking up and down the hallway. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then, like, with the TV, I had other people witness that as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that is kind of harder to explain. Like, you know, they'd be like, oh, there's a power cut. And I've... Because I've always been somebody that thinks in a lot of detail, mm -hmm. you know, somebody mm -hmm. would say, oh, it's a power cut. And I'd be like, oh, if it's a power cut, why are the lights on? Like that, yeah. like that it's doesn't, just the TV. That, yeah, mm -hmm. that doesn't make sense. Oh, the TV's faulty. And I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, okay then. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, we went back to the, um, the, people we were renting off and then that's how we found out okay yeah because i wonder if that person knew because if they knew the person died in the kitchen do they know more to the story than just that but you would have been really young it's not i was really really little yeah. i just i remember i don't know if i was really really little maybe i was eight or not but like you know still young yeah um but yeah. it's something i really I do remember, remember and, and that was part of my, yeah, mm. it was just part of my encounters, but yeah, always hearing the footsteps and, and the running up and down and, and I don't know, maybe he got murdered, more likely mm. they had a heart attack or something. Yeah, you know? like anything could have happened. Anything could have, been, could have happened. Yeah. What about you? Oh my gosh. Whew. That's creepy. I have, <laughs> I mean... As you can see, a notification freaked me out. So I probably thinking back now, it's probably nothing. But no, this, I do have a story. Mm -hmm. And well, I've had like quite a bit of experiences, but things that could easily be, log it's just logically, it could be anything. Yes. But I think in my mind also, I don't know, you just get the feeling like I did. And your mind, how your mind can play like yeah. amazing tricks on you. Oh, and it's it's so easy to get caught up. And I mean, yeah. I I get caught up sometimes as well. Yeah. So it's yeah, same. I mean, I'm not even going to try and rationalize that. Oh, you're caught up all the time. So with this one, so I was newly in New Zealand. Yes, I was probably nineteen. 19, yep. Yeah. And I lived in a flat in Auckland with two flatmates. Yes. One of them was a very logical person, like very, to the point where they're, okay, how do you, I don't want to. Skeptical? Wanna, very. 
Yeah. To the point where they didn't believe in entities, they didn't believe in anything that yeah. I don't know what their thinking is about that stuff now. But mm. back then they were very black and white. We're all young. We're all just men each other. They're yeah. very black and white and this is how the world is and it's all practical and if I can see it, I can touch it, I can feel it, then it exists. If not, it doesn't. Anyways. So we're living in this flat, there's three of us. I'm in the flat by myself, obviously, because they never show up when you have a crowd, do they? <laughs> okay, can yeah. I join the party? Yeah, I know. And at that point, I was in a journey of what spirituality is mm -hmm. and what religion so is. So you were a little bit more attuned to it. At oh, hell. Yes. <laughs> unfortunately and that's when they come for you right when, you're <laughs> yeah. to it. when your belief is wide open yeah 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 so i don't know for what reason i decided to stay home by myself i need to stop doing that stop sitting in the house by yourself and so i was doing whatever i needed to do i was on the laptop uni stuff all that kind of thing i stupidly wanted to go into the other room which is like a bedroom so i go into that room i open the door yeah and so I'll set the scene. You open the door. This is like, um, uh, you know, quite a big sized apartment for Auckland at the time, because this would have been more than 10 years ago. So they mm. had reasonable flats and, and it was, imagine like a queen bed mm. and two side tables. But this would have been back then when furniture was solid wood. S solid. Solid wood. Yeah. Okay. I'm talking like... Okay, we carried this table, there's a table in front of us. We carried, it's like, it's a wide table. It's like yeah. here until I don't know where. Yeah. I was struggling with it, right? Yeah. You were just like, this is carrying chips. Anyways, <laughs> I was struggling. So imagine two solid wood side tables have, and they're, you know how with um, side tables, they have legs on them? Yeah. This one had no legs. This is the kind of side table. Like just flat pure so that's wood. the kind of furniture we're talking like pure wood yeah. it's a block of wood you have to fight with the thing to come with the drawers out like yes. physically have a fit and really question do i need to open this drawer or not <laughs> okay this is what we're working with so i open the door i go in there thinking you know what like should i sit on the bed i don't know mm -hmm. why i thought sitting on the bed I wish I never did this because as I was standing contemplating, should I sit on the bed, finish my work there mm. while looking into the room? Mm. Like the side table. <laughs> okay, I have proof. Okay, I don't have the evidence, but I've got witnesses. This is what I, okay. I made sure I had witnesses <laughs> because I thought I was going crazy. And the window was closed. Everything was closed. So like, like locked window, locked. And it wasn't just a window. It was... A balcony like the whole door oh, open yeah. yeah so all of that was shut there was no there was no wind going anywhere in the entire flat and it was like um you know the kind of flat that's like long like this yes. like you have the kitchen area living room open plan then you go bedroom bedroom bathroom so there's not right. like different Levels. things Levels. Yeah. yeah so the thing wobbled <laughs> i was like no obviously I was like, I must be tired. What uh, stuff that I was studying back then, which is nothing crazy, it's just yeah. tech. And my brain and cells trying to get together to figure out what my assignments were about. I'm tired. Like, surely, student, young, sleep deprived, surely I'm seeing things. Maybe I need to get my eyes checked. Cheers. This is what I'm thinking. And the dang thing wobbled again. And you're like, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Because, see, back, okay, 20 years ago, I was brave as hell. This, <laughs> I don't know what this came from, old age probably. So I'm just looking at this thing and I'm waiting because I'm trying to figure out what is happening. Yeah. Because the logic is not computing. Yeah. Now imagine, yes, I did say I was on my spiritual journey. I was a tech major. Yes. Like, I'm very logical at this point. Yes. This is what changed that because I'm like cables and wires. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. I kid you not. I know what you're thinking, but I from I will call this person <laughs> and they will verify this because this wobbly shit <laughs> is moving, ends up moving slowly, and I'm like, there's no way this is happening. Like I'm watching it happen <laughs> while I'm saying to myself, this is not happening. Happening. 
-hmm. And I think this is also called freeze mode, right? Yeah, 100%. And as this thing is moving, like falling forward, the drawers are opening and oh, everything. Yeah. And I know. No, the door is right behind them. Okay, now in my, this whatever age <laughs> If I see, I'm out. I'm not waiting. I don't care anymore. I at least I'm solid enough in myself. Yeah. I had no confidence. I had no self esteem at that point. I had to wait for this to happen. The drawers are opening. Everything in the drawer, which was filled, was falling out. Like it was spilling out. Like I don't even know how. Mm. And there was like a cupboardy thing. So everything was open and the thing just fell. And I was just like, closed the door and went and sat in the couch and did not say anything or do anything and I left it as it is. So I'm sitting there saying nothing, doing nothing, knowing these flatmates are going to come home. They come home, passes the room and goes like, what the, like, why would you do that? Like, yeah. why would you open a drawer and just throw things out and not put it back? Like, what is wrong with you? So I'm sitting pasty, young-ish on the couch Staring into space and having two flatmates being like, what, the, what is wrong with you? Why don't you clean that up for yourself? Blah, 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 blah. So this is confirming to me what I've seen. Yeah. And I looked them in the eyes and I said, I didn't do it. And, and I was like, okay. Do you see how pale I got watching another thing? Imagine what my face would have been like. They, okay, one did not believe me. The other one was like kind of confused because she... Well, it's not your normal behavior. Yes. Yeah. See, that's where I don't work with cables anymore because humans are interesting. Yeah. And it's really interesting how she could pick that up yeah. and was like, this is not your normal behavior. I've never seen you behave or act or do anything vandalizingly before. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I don't understand logically why you would do something like this. Yeah. It makes no sense. So what you're saying. So she says, who did, who did it? And I explained the story the best I could. Actually, I go clean it up. Yeah. But as I'm putting it together, like I'm looking, oh, that's the other thing. It was so heavy. I couldn't put it back. Right. I couldn't even push it back up. So that one that was like kind of skeptical was like because i was trying to push it she comes and walks over and she tries to, she was a very strong lady as in carrying the table yeah. by herself strong lady um between the both of us and she pushes it back she looks at me and is like how did you even because she could see i was struggling with this she did say how did you even and i didn't say anything because i'm having my moment and she's like just walks out the room i walk out no one says anything about this ever again but I carry on living and sleeping in that room yeah. for the rest of the year. <laughs> and, and it never happened again? Never happened again. Nothing remotely like that ever happened again. And after that, you know, she comes to myself and this other partner going, so what do we think about moving to another place? You're like, yes, please. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I'll take anything. So that's, that's one paranormal thing that... I mean, give me your ideas. Give me your thoughts on this. Like, what wind? I don't know. No, to me, my first thing was yeah. earthquake. But if nothing else oh, fell yeah. over, yeah. it's awkward at that point. What earthquake yeah. in two thousand and I don't know what. Yeah, happened. that's quite true. Yeah. Yeah. But that would be my first thing. Yeah. Or if you lived right next to a train, mm -hmm. no, the vibration. No, Auckland CBD. So yeah, there's yeah. nothing in the CBD. Yeah. And the yeah. thing is, is that if one thing falls over. Mm -hmm. It's very different to a couple of things falling over. Because a couple of things tell me that there's a vibration somewhere. Mm -hmm. There's, mm -hmm. there's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or a noise or something. It's, it's, do you know how quiet this is right now? Yes. So imagine this. And then that chair just goes, whoop. Nothing. Yeah, there we go. So that's, <laughs> that's what, I don't know what that is. But that's, I'd be like, no. Yeah. Was, <laughs> no. You I do could, you. Yeah. You stay there. Yeah. Come, Completely. <laughs> you want the chair? You have the chair. <laughs> you... I'm going to get another one. <laughs> yes. I'll, just, I'll get it. I'll buy another one. It's fine. You take it. It's your chair. It's like <laughs> this. <laughs> take the mirror. Take the chair. Take the living room. You know what? It's fine. You have the house. I'm going. <laughs> I'm, I'll see you later. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yes. Yes. So that's. So 
Did you hear there's, that? There's a car wheel. Okay. There's somebody's brakes <laughs> not breaking very well. Okay. okay. It sounded like a kettle. It, okay. it, yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. it okay. did. Yeah. It did. So everything is going to freak me out now. Yeah. As it was yeah. definitely squeaky car brakes, I Ooh. think. Well, thanks for coming on this journey and watching us. <laughs> well, we freak out and you have a great time. Oh, I loved it. Yeah. It's so much fun. We might have spooky parts. Spooky yeah, parts. we should. We should watch Can't a movie you? together. Yeah, okay. So I can terrify you. Yeah. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, no, it'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be you. so much fun. Okay. <laughs> the viewers will love it. All two of them. <laughs> two viewers, yes. Okay, that yeah. sounds good. Well, thank you guys. We're going to wrap up. Have a great time, wherever, whatever you are. Wherever, whatever you are. <laughs> um, Stay warm, stay well. And yeah. See you next time. We'll see you episode four.